Good morning everyone. How are you all? Hope you all are well at your place. I am Shweta and I am teaching you chapter number 13 data handling and this is video number 2 of this chapter. In this video we will cover one topic that is telegraph. Okay. So should we start with telegraph? What is telegraph? Telegraph is an another way to represent the data. To represent the numbers. As you can see, I have written here, a telegraph is one method of collecting data. Okay. By this method also we used to collect the data like we have done in the pictograph. Okay. With tally marks. Tally marks. What is tally marks? Tally marks like this. This is a horizontal dash. Okay. And this is a vertical dash. So, tally marks are represented by vertical dashes. Okay, so here it, it is written in tally graph, the numbers are represented through vertical lines, the small vertical lines, basically it is called as vertical dashes, okay, and a slanting line. Now, how we can represent the numbers by the vertical dash? As you can see here, I have written numbers from 1 to 10. So, here I am just going to tell how we can represent the numbers by tally marks, okay. Like it is 1 written here. So, we can simply make a vertical dash. Now, this, this is a tally mark and it represents number 1. Okay. Now, 2 is written here. To represent 2 number, we have to make 2 tally marks. Okay. Now, to represent number 3, we have to make, we have to draw 3 vertical lines. Okay. Now, to represent number 4, what we have to do? We have to make, we have to draw 4 vertical dashes. Okay? Now, to represent number 5, first we will draw 4 vertical dashes and after that we have to draw a slanting line. This represents number 5. Now, this is a group of 5 tally marks. Okay. We used to group 5 tally marks at one place. By 4 vertical lines and by 1 slanting line. Now how to represent number 6 in tally marks? First we will draw 4 vert vertical dashes. Then 1 slanting line. 5. Then again 1 line. 6. Okay. Similarly like that we will also draw here. 5, 6, 7. Now, how to represent number 8? 1, 2, 3, 4. Then 5. Now, this is the group of 5. Then 1, 2, 3. Means 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay? Similarly like that, we will draw the tally marks for 9 like 1, 2, 3, 4. Here you can see this is a group of 5 and after that I have drawn 6, 7, 8 and 9. Now for 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now here you can see there are 2 groups of 5 tally marks. So, just pause this video and write this definition and examples in your maths notebook. Now, here the question is written, one class voted for their favorite color. The strength of the class is 33. So, in a class we have gone to take the survey for their favorite colors. Okay, the strength of the class is 33. So, here I have written the different colors name, blue, orange, green, red, yellow. And the total votes I have written here in the numbers. Okay. Blue 4, orange 7, green 3, red 10, yellow 9. In total 33 votes I have got. Why? Because the strength of the class is 33. Now here we have to write the tally marks of these numbers. Okay. So we can start doing that. To represent the number 4 we have to draw Four lines. One, two, three and four. Okay. Now for the orange. Seven votes. How we can represent number seven? One, 
two, three, four, then a five. Okay? Then six, seven. Understood? Now here for green, total words, three. So we can draw three vertical lines to represent number three. Okay? Now red, total ten students have voted for red color. Okay? So here we can draw one, two, three, four vertical dashes. Then one slanting dash. Now here this this tally graph, this tally mark is representing number 5. Now, 6, 7, 8, 9 and then 10. Okay? Now here, yellow total 9 votes. So how we can draw the tally marks? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Then 6. 7, 8, 9. Understood? Now I hope this is clear to you to how to represent the numbers by tally marks. So just pause this video and write these examples in your maths notebook. Okay. So now next question is draw tally marks for the following numbers. Here I have written different numbers and we are just going to draw the tally marks for this number. Okay. Now like 12. So 12, what we have to do? First, we have to draw the vertical dashes. Okay? Four vertical dashes. Then one slanting line. Okay? One slant line you can draw either from this side or from this side. It's up to you. Okay? Now, now these tally marks are representing number 5. Then 6, 7, 8, 9. Then 10. Okay, now 11, 12. You can see here, these are the group of 5 plus 5, 10 plus 2, 12. Now here we are just going to make the tally marks for number 10. Like 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 vertical dashes, 1 slant line. Now, 1, 2, 3, 4. And again, a slant line. Now, 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. Now, for number 15, same thing we have to do. 1, 2, 3, 4. Vertical dash. 1 slant line. Again, 4 vertical dash. Again, 1 slant line. Again, 4 vertical dash. And one slant line. Now 5 plus 5 plus 5 is equal to 15. Now for 24. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now 5 plus 5, 10 plus 5, 15. 15 tally marks here we have already drawn. Now we have to make. Now these are 20. Then after 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. 5 plus 5, 10 plus 5, 15 plus 5, 20 plus 4, 24. So now I hope that this tally mark is very much clear to you. So just pause this video and write these examples also in your maths notebook.